Jack asked me what my ideal show would be to be part of, and I, of course, wanted to play with him, and I wanted to include some of the most uh, classic repertoire for flute and with some of the things that we have most enjoyed playing, and I'm also really excited about collaborating with other artistic disciplines, and especially dance, so I thought I might like to rub Suzanne Choi into it, so we worked together on a few things recently. Um, and from there, it kind of became obvious that we'd like to have a bit more of a story, that's where the narrator came in after that. I really like looked at some of the traits of the animals and then tried to create a parallel human form. So um, one of the things we're looking at, this is one of the first creatures in the show, is the Japanese spider crab. Now we know about her that she likes to decorate her shell with different objects. So Suzanne created this whole, whole crab persona. Uh, it's kind of like a dainty um, woman with a very extravagant decorative taste. It comes up with a very outlandish outfit. So like a lot of colorful characters and uh, some interactive elements. They get to dive under the water and they'll get to yell some things out. <laughs> I think we've been thinking about it for maybe two years, something like that. <laughs> but then there was a long period of uh, looking at nature films and reading books and looking at some terrifying images of the deep sea. <laughs> and then from there I think we had maybe four like solid rehearsal times where we had brainstorm the next step and put together ideas for the set and the props and the characters. So I think what I enjoy the most is that when something surprising happens in performance. Like the dynamic between Suzanne and Courtney has been developing a lot as we performed it more, and so it's fun to see them play and to come up with um, jokes on the spot. Join us on June 17th at 7.30pm at the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic.